As a teenager, I was a little bit of a mess. I probably could have been diagnosed with generalized clinical anxiety at age 12 or 13. And so at the age of 13, I started experimenting with alcohol. I developed an eating disorder and spent 17 years struggling with bulimia. I had no self-esteem whatsoever. I was covered in so much shame and so much regret and there was so much self-loathing. And I was on my way to work and I was working on a morning show at the time and so it was early in the morning and I turned on the radio and it was a Christian teaching program quoting a scripture where Jesus says, watch out, don't let me catch you living in careless ease and drunkenness filled with the worries of this life. And so I turned off the radio and I said, okay, Lord, I'm yours. What do you want me to do? And I knew that that was the day that I had to choose. Was I going to live for myself, which could only lead to the pit? Or was I going to live for my savior, which leads to life and peace and love and joy? And that's what I chose. And I never looked back. I'm Rebecca Carroll, and I am the morning show co-host on 90.9 KCBI. When our listeners come to 90.9 KCBI and when they listen to our morning show, we give them the real deal. We talk about the real struggles of life and how God's Word applies to that and applies to them every day. And so I am a student right now at Dallas Theological Seminary because the Lord has put a microphone in front of my face and I feel a tremendous burden to have my theology be sound. I want to rightly divide the Word of God. We are at a crisis point when it comes to biblical literacy, and I want to be a part of the solution for that. I chose the Christian education program because it made the most sense, because my greatest joy by far in serving the Lord Jesus Christ is seeing the light bulb come on when a woman hears the Word of God and she hears it in this new, fresh way. And if the Lord has given me anything, He has given me a desire to say, you are not alone. There is someone who knows how you feel. I'm not an alcoholic anymore. I can't, I, I mean, I, I just never thought that would be the case. But God's Word is alive and active and has the power to save your soul and to transform your heart and to change your mind, even to the point where I can look at those prison cells where I sat bound for so long and I can say, thank you, Lord, because you entrusted me with this, I can minister to people because some people can only be reached by empathy. It doesn't matter what I do if I am doing it for the glory of God.